Thanks so much for tuning in to The Remote Traveler. If you haven't already, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. In this video, we'll be exploring Hamra in Beirut. The center of this neighborhood, Hamra Street, is one of Beirut's major commercial districts and is known for its fashion stores, as well as its many restaurants, cafes, bars, and hotels. The area is also known for having a lively nightlife. You'll see many traces of the Lebanese Civil War on the walls of the buildings in Hamra, even today. But it has also seen much urban development over the last decades. You'll see a vibrant artistic culture in Hamra. There are lots of great restaurants in Hamra, but we stopped in Appetito Territoria. So we just ordered St. Thomas. Uh, it's a local wine. It was actually established in 1990 by Saito and his family uh, on a hill overlooking the Bacaa Valley. Of course, we have a lot of good wine here like Sara, Freya. St. Thomas is one of the really good ones. The Lebanese wine culture is actually one of the most underrated parts about Lebanon. So as she just mentioned, there's uh, several really great wineries here. And Lebanon is actually one of the oldest sites of wine production in the entire world. The Phoenicians were famous wine traders. Lebanon is also home of the Temple of Bacchus, who is the wine god. Additionally, it's said that Jesus turned water into wine in Lebanon. And the Lebanese wine is even mentioned in the Bible. Lastly, of course, you can go on wine tours in Lebanon. There are several really, really nice hotels you can stay in in Hamra, as well as more affordable options. There's, you know, the Hamra Urban Gardens, you know, there's Carmel Boutique Hotel, 309 Hotel. In this case, however, we were actually at the Gifino Rotana. While it isn't technically in Hamra, we stopped at the Rene Moad Garden, also known as the Sinai Garden, because, well, in Beirut, everything is pretty much right near each other in one sense or another. Sinaya Garden is actually one of the oldest public open air spaces in the capital city, Beirut. This 22,000 square meter garden is a popular destination for walkers, joggers, and children. If you come here, you'll see playgrounds all over the place. Facing one side of the garden on Ruth Spears is actually the complex of the National Library. After the 2006 Lebanon war started, the garden and its surroundings became a meeting point for refugees and NGOs. The Sinai Relief Center was located in a house facing the garden. Channel, we always try to show 
both the positives and the other side of things as well and lebanon is a beautiful country and it's amazing and it's complex and there's a quote about lebanon that says if you feel like you understand lebanon then somebody's explained it wrong take commerce street for example where much of this video has taken place at one point, it was the center of Beirut's glamour in the 1960s and 70s. It was home to Lebanon's top movie houses and theaters, cafes frequented by intellectuals and artists, shops selling international brands. And it's seen a revival for sure, but you'll also notice that the reality is there are Syrian refugees and people that are struggling and really still on this day begging for money on the streets. And so again, it's, it's always good to you know, to visit and support the Lebanese people in any way you can and just understand that the country is very much in the middle of an economic crisis. I suppose that's just to say that nothing is ever entirely good or entirely bad, but thank you for watching and I hope that you'll like and subscribe to our channel.